comes to its conclusion on Scandinavian snow. The final men's Super G took place in Hemsedal in Norway. Of the four main contenders, Zurbriggen's closest rival, Gunther Mada, was lying in third place. So now, Zurbriggen, World Cup Super G champion for the past three seasons, looking to retain this title. Ericsson's had a poor run, Marder's down in third place, Picard is well down the field. If Zabrigan can get ahead of Gunter Marder in third place, then the title should be his, and he's very close now. An ideal course this for Zubrigan. Downhill technique needed on the top section, and then a giant slalom turns in the midpoint section, really suiting Zubrigan. Only needs to come 13th to take the world title, but he's definitely looking for a victory by the look of this run. 105.80 to take the lead away from Germany is Hans Stufa. The time on the left. Zabrigan in the tux, trying to stay there. Is he there? Very close at halfway. And he's there by just almost a quarter of a second. And so Switzerland takes the lead. And that will do very nicely. And Permin Zurbriggen won his last ever World Cup Super G ahead of his Swiss teammate Karl Alpiger, Hans Stufer of Germany in third. And that gave the Swiss star his fourth consecutive Super G title. Marder, also runner-up in giant slalom, had to settle for second again. So it's appropriate that it was a Super G victory that earned Zurbriggen enough points to win this season's World Cup Championship, his fourth and a place in ski racing history.